Brought notes. But you don't really need notes when you're talking about your longtime colleague and longtime friend. Because when you have known Giselle as long as I have, you learn about someone who has a tremendous sense of decency and a tremendous sense of integrity. And, you know, I've, I've known a lot of you over the years and met a lot of you, and I even married a journalist. <laughs> Don't hold that against me. I really think that journalism is one of the most important things left. And I don't mean entertainment news. I mean journalism. Those of you who risk everything to tell the truth. I chased Kareem down outside because when I was little, he told the truth at all costs. And that truth changed a lot and protected a lot in my life. And think about that. What is it? I, I hear much better with my glasses on. I think a lot about what it is. What the it is that all you people have that have made you so relevant, so important, and what has made you the last heroes. What is it? What's the it factor? It is that ever-endangered, elusive quality that inspires people and that inspirational people possess from world leaders to an occasional CEO, some movie stars. And to a lot of us, it was the people that raised us. And there are a few powerful journalists left People that at all costs do that one thing, that incredibly dangerous thing, they tell the truth. Why? Because you're confident, charismatic, focused on others, eloquent storytellers, insightful interviewers. You ask the hard questions, you're authentic, I like hanging out with you, you're engaging. <laughs> you're optimistic in the face of the most hellish things. And overall, you're purposeful. You're prepared. You come to every story and every interview with a mission. Giselle herself is warm and assertive. And I've been interviewed by her a million times. And she does not let one off the hook. These aren't qualities you can teach someone. As we well know, you have talent or you don't. You also have discipline or you don't. It comes from a true passion, in this case for journalism combined with a very strong work ethic. Giselle herself is an original, a complete professional. For years, she built a career in local and national network news. This was not in the beginning when we were kids. Very easy for a woman and less easy with a woman whose name was Fernandez. Then in entertainment news, she stepped out of the industry and ran her own successful agency and media company, but found that she missed local news and we missed her place in it. In 2018, she was convinced to come back to a startup news operation in Los Angeles called Spectrum News One. And we're glad about it. 
She bought into the concept that local news could be different, that long form and short form news pieces could result in better storytelling, and that she would have a huge voice in the editorial process. I personally think that in a time when people tell all kinds of bullshit, that when someone tells something genuine, personal, individual, and true, it makes so much more difference than when someone tells something that they didn't get a couple of sources from. You remember when you had to have three sources? Mm -hmm. There was a reason for that. It was called truth. Today, she is the morning anchor that Los Angeles wakes up to Monday through Friday. She helps viewers get up, get out the door with what they need to know to navigate their days. But that's not all. She is also the host and executive producer of LA Stories with Giselle Fernandez. I've been a story. I'm proud to have been a story. And I want to tell you that that story changed my life. And it's changing very much so the trajectory of my career that was greatly derailed by my disability when I had a stroke and a massive brain hemorrhage. I'm here not only because I respect and understand the integrity of Giselle's work, I'm here because her work and her ability to let people see the truth of my life has greatly changed my life. Please help me welcome Giselle Fernandez, my friend. Thank you.